Oaxaca, Mexico. Welcome to Oaxaca. This is one of Mexico's most unique and beautiful states located in the southwest part of the country. It is filled with artistic and cultural treasures, including UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Let's go check it out. The tree where Oaxaca got its name is called Oaxin. It's a spicy fruit and they named the city after this. a Oaxaca. I'm about to see a 2,000 year old tree called Arpo de Tul. Check this out. This tree doesn't even fit into one snap. It's huge. Wow. This is the 2,000 year old tree. <laughs> Is it cool? I was hugging the tree. Yeah, the tree hugger. <laughs> Next, we ventured outside of the city to see how the famous textiles are made with natural dyes and a hand woven process. This plant is called indigo plant. They have amarillos so ocupan musgo de roca, rock moss from the, from the mountain. But, so, those white things on the cactus is a insect, it's a parasite. It was amazing to see all of the colors extracted from nature to create these beautiful textile rugs. But we couldn't visit Oaxaca without seeing how one of its finest exports, mezcal, is made and the leaves, cut off the leaves too. Three or five days in the, in the fire. Wow. They put the plant, adding only water, that's it. Uh, well, you saw how we make it in Oaxaca, the traditional tree, which is in the scale. Only the six months has wings. Mike, what do you think? <laughs> I'm at this mezcal factory. I just bought way too much mezcal, but it was amazing. Next, we visit Nitla, which is a famous archaeological site built by the Zapotec people, one of the indigenous groups of Oaxaca. Right in the middle used to be the altar. So the ceremony took place right in the middle. Mm. That's the funeral ceremony? The funeral. Mitla means place of the dead, and it was a sacred burial site for the Zapotec people. We're in Mitla and we're by the church. This was made uh, incorporating the ruins, including the stones. From... The Spanish ordered the obliteration of the Zapotec temples. In their place, Catholic churches were constructed using the materials from the original temples. This is a petrified waterfall. We traveled about two hours outside of the city of Oaxaca to visit one of the most surreal landscapes, Irve de Agua, which translates to place where the water boils. Look at this view. This view is amazing. Only problem is I couldn't bring my DSLR because the rain is coming. Now it's time to head back to the city in time for food and local festivities at night. So this is Basilica Santo Domingo de Guzman. We couldn't go inside because there was a wedding. While the wedding was in session, we decided to get dinner. 
Oaxaca is regarded as one of Mexico's culinary destinations noted for its seven moles. We decided to try it at a restaurant called Sandunga in Oaxaca City. After dinner, we stumbled upon the wedding festivities. The wedding just got over and now there's a huge celebration in the streets. There were fireworks and everything. City. We just made it to the top of this beautiful hill to see Monte Alban, the famous UNESCO archaeological site. Wotek people leveled four mountains in order to build this. That's why they've been called the Cloud People. This is where the government officials live. Hey, I made it to the top. Look at this view. Wow. It took two centuries for them to build this. This building right here is shaped like an arrowhead, and the point points to southwest. And when the sun lined up, it was the perfect time to plant seeds. Being in Indiana Jones, look at this. These are hieroglyphs. This illustration shows you the before and after. This is the mountains, and this is after it was leveled to build Monte Alban. This is Oaxaca City. You can see all the farms. This is a city of 500,000 people. Mexico City is 30 million people. Oaxaca. This is the Gegetzila Auditorium. This is Santo Domingo Basilica. Maria. Plaza de Santo Domingo. This is Gegetzila Auditorium. Plaza de Santo Domingo. Walking through the heart of the city, called the Zocalo, we came across the Basilica of Our Lady Solitude, which is built in Baroque-style architecture. The historic center of Oaxaca is designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, noted for its Spanish colonial architecture and colorful facades. Today, the city is filled with numerous restaurants, art galleries, and shops. Look at the design on this. This is crazy. Every single door is like a different color and so ornate. It's so beautiful here. colonial buildings, they have no billboards, um, and the buildings are only allowed to be a certain height. Our tour of Oaxaca has come to an end. I did not want to leave Oaxaca. It's so beautiful here. Definitely one of my favorite parts of Mexico. I hope you get the chance to travel here soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos. Adios amigos.